my younger brother Chitambala, the one called uh, known as Mwelwalen. Uh, 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 what do they call him? Mwewalin Chitambala went and attacked me that Chishimba Kambwiri was being tribal when those uh, boys visited his house. Shuwa limwewa mwinani na mwalipato muntu mufayo kumuwa na wileshina that is a tribalist. Where was tribalism in what I told the, the the, the young people. If you have a tila panochalo, the power of one year. Nanguma patum nenu, muewa. Why I start record something? No, Bakambuidi, you were wrong, you were, you were being tribal, you were uh, promoting tribalism. I did not answer to muewa. I left it there. At 19 hours, President Haka Inde Ichilema called me. Unfortunately, I did not hear the phone ring. In the morning on Saturday when I woke up, I found the missed call from the president. And he had sent me, he had forwarded me Mwewa's discourse. And there was a message that he wrote to me. And I caught what the president wrote to me, which is very, very unfortunate. This is what the president wrote to me. He said, my dear colleague, Mr. Kambwiri, I am sure you are aware that it is a crime to promote tribalism in Zambia. End of quote. When I saw this message, I was extremely surprised. I called the president back and we spoke for 45 minutes. I told him, my dear president and my dear brother, I am shocked that you have written this message threatening me. Because this is threatening for the president to write, to write a message to a citizen and tell them, are you aware that uh, uh, promoting tribalism is an offense? So I told him, what have I done? for you to write this message. And no, those people who came to your home were singing that Twanina uh, Pangombe. I asked my dear brother, have you watched the recording of what I said to those people, the discourse between those young men and I? He said, no. I said, look, in that discourse, I castigated those young men over the singing of that song because I don't subscribe to tribalism. The same way you felt that it was offensive for them to sing that song, it's the same way I felt when they came. And it is on record, I can even send you the link for you to know that, uh, uh, you know, for you to know that I was not pleased or amused by that song. We discussed for about 45 minutes, he brought in issues of saying, no, 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 you, during the campaign, you were saying people must not vote for a tongue. I challenged him, I said, you can go and get all the audios, both on radio and my discourse at public rallies. There's not even a single day that I said never vote for a Tonga president. To the contrary, I was condemning the region of voting in southern province. And I said, since UPND was formed, the people in southern province have only voting for the UPND and records are there to show. And I told the people we should not vote on tribal lines. Because if you vote on tribal lines, Supposing the people in northern province also start saying we are also going to vote for our own. Supposing the people in Lambaland says we are going to vote for our Lamba colleague. Suppose those in northwestern, suppose those in eastern province, we are going to divide the country. This was my message throughout where I went. He told me, no, 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 you were saying you should not vote 
vote for Haga Haga or Higi Higi. I said, no, Mr. President, you misunderstood me. I was saying, look, if provinces start voting the way they voted in southern province in the previous uh, three elections, for instance, if the Tongas formed a government as a tribe by voting their own opportunity, get me to leave out Mulenga. If there is a band that they say leave out band, if there is anybody with the name Ha Ha or He He, they say give him the job. All I was saying was to advise people against regional voting and never underline this where I said never vote for a Tonga president. Why would I sing so long? Secondly, I am on record. All the recordings in Luapula, all the recordings in Muchinga, and all the recordings in Northern, Northern Province, and I challenge the president, I can send the links, I still have them. I was say, telling the people, don't vote on tribal lines. Even me, as Chishimba Kamridi. If I come to Northern Province and say, vote for me, you should reject me. Then I don't mean well, because we should not promote tribalism and the region of voting. I told him, I challenge you, Mr. President. So he said, no, then it is just a, a question of uh, misunderstanding or interpretation. I said, yes, I have always wanted to have this discourse with you. Because this idea of you saying Kambuid is a tribalist has gotten out of hand. I'm not a tribalist. And I told him, look, my father's family are Seventh Day. And my father was Seventh Day. I am Catholic myself. My father was Seventh Day. My younger brothers, my younger sisters are married to Tongas because in the Seventh Day, the major tribes are Bemba and Tonga. So my brothers and sisters are married within the church and they've married Tongas and some Lozis. Now, if I become a, a tribalist, how am I going to treat my, my niece Lusubilo? How am, I, how am I going to treat my niece Mutinta, my nephew Makwaza? How? And where am I going to take them? I said this to the president on our discussion. And I said, I hope I've made myself clear and please don't treat me like somebody who hates the Tongas. I love the Tonga people. I have nothing against the Tonga people. Ask my young, my sister-in-law and my brothers-in-law who are Tonga the way I treat them. Nen salamu bale tele kuli ine. No kufunye salamu shaku pawa ito randinena ale funya. How do people start? You see, the only thing is people want to create an impression that I hate the Tongas. I hate. Uh, the Tonga, so that the Tonga people cannot give me their vote. That is not right. And I think we must stop this forthwith. So today, I left my house and went uh, to the farm. When I came back, I was told police came to bring a call out that they want you at force headquarters. I even remembered they have been instructed by the president because they threatened me. He told me that this is an offense. But I never committed any offense. Suffice to state, that's, this is not the first time that the president is threatening me. Again, when I spoke about African, he sent me a message to say, you are going to find yourself in hot soup and you fail to come out of these problems. Now, how do we have a president who threatens citizens? And when we say police are instructed from state house, people think it's a joke. What have I done for you, Mr. President, to send the police on me? All the records are there. Even the police officers who are being unprofessional. I know what instructions that you've been given. Because I did find out from the system and they've said, no, the instruction they've given us is to lock you up like Tayari. Don't give you police bond. Don't take you to court on time three, seven, or ten days behind bars. Let me tell you, Mr. President, I'm used to this. I have been treated like this before. I was arrested 16 times. And every time I was arrested, I was detained not less than five days. And by the way, I have even been to jail. 
I was in jail for 18 days on political intimidation and political uh, 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 you know, persecution. I am used. And for you who brought the call out, please bring it back tomorrow morning I'm around and I'll report myself. I will not be intimidated in my own country. Ichiwem bachitila inguluwe bakonke iri lomumbu. Inguluwe bakonke iri lomumbu. So, I want to tell you that I will not be scared. Come tomorrow, bring the call out, or phone me, tell me where I'm required, because they didn't collect the call, the call out, so we don't know what is there. But I've been told that police brought a call out that I should report myself to force headquarters. And I know it is under the instruction of the president. Mr. President, you've forgotten so fast what you and I went through. You've forgotten so fast what you were complaining about. And you want to use the police to intimidate your opponents. Even sending them messages. This is a, a serious offense. Two times you threatened me. But I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> so go and detain me the, one, the way you want to detain me. But I challenge you, we'll meet in court and see whether I've committed an offense of tribalism. Don't start intimidating people. In any case, in any case, me, if somebody says, if somebody says you are a thief and I'm not a thief, I will not panic. I will not panic. But when people are saying something and you start panicking even to want to arrest those who are innocent, I will leave it to the Zambia, what it means. So please, and I want to warn Mubanga, Minister of uh, a Small and Medium Enterprise. Today I was watching you when you had the Bemba people explaining about tribalism. The Bemba ministers. You said, and I quote, promote tribalism. I don't play dirty politics. Where I, I pay people to come and to me. This house a lot of people come to complain. Today, I had a delegation from Comesa complaining about how they are being treated. I don't pay people to do that. And I'll take you on. My lawyers are already writing to you to justify that accusation. And also, my lawyers, uh, uh, Fred Jerry and company, are writing to you so that you can justify that. This country belongs to all of us. Tonga, Bemba, Lozi, Namwanga, Kaonde, everybody is a Zambian. And when somebody is discouraging something, it doesn't mean he's promoting it. I can challenge everybody to play, even tomorrow, start playing what I used to say in the campaign on ZNBC and see whether I was promoting tribalism or discouraging tribalism. You see, with me, when I say something that I realize is not pleasing or people are not happy with it, I apologize. For instance, when I said that in southern province, even if Jesus came they were, uh, and, and stood for elections, they will vote for HH and not, uh, uh, not Jesus. I realized that was offensive to the Tonga people. I went to the Tonga chiefs and apologized. But I'm not going to apologize for what I never did. People have gone, tribalist, hey, tribalist. I'm not a tribalist. Our family believes in diversity. That's why we marry from all over. We don't just marry from one tribe. So to try and paint, create an impression that Kambuid is, is a, a tribalist is neither here nor there. Even you, Secretary General of UPND, my lawyers are also writing to you for you to say that Kambuid was 
uh, uh, was uh, being tribal towards the people of the Copper Belt, the people of Central Province, the people of Lusaka Province, the people of Northwestern, and the people of Western. Why do you want these people in these areas to rise against me? I only gave an example of the voting pattern in Southern Province. I never spoke of the voting pattern in Western Province. I never spoke of the voting pattern in Northwestern, Copper Belt, Central, Lusaka, etc. But you want to create a narrative. That's, that's what I did for your own selfish political need so that these people can rise against me as an individual. That is not correct. So my dear police are the last people that I fear. Because when I know that I've not done any, anything, I'm not scared. I can tell you tomorrow, when they bring the call out, I will appear. But I know that it is under your instruction that you want me to be detained. I am ready for that. 18 days in jail is not a job for five days or 10 days in police custody. What we need to do in this country, sort out what the people are complaining about. Sort out the cost of millimeter. Sort out the cost of petrol. Today you've just increased the price of petrol. Sort out the shortage of fertilizer. Short out the shortage of millimil in Kawe. They are lining up for millimil. In most rural areas, the price of millimil has now gone to 240. And you are telling us, go and eat uh, roller meal. We don't want to eat roller meal. We also want to eat breakfast. But we should be able to have, afford the breakfast. So sort out, you have so many things to sort out. And like following Shimbaka Mbwidi Alandi when Shimbaka Mbwidi speaks, get the good things that Shimbaka Mbwidi is talking about. Don't go and create stories against Shimbaka Mbwidi. You are wasting your time. It has been done before. And let me tell you, there is no government that has succeeded by using police to intimidate the opposition, except in, in Uganda. But here in Zambia, immediately a government starts using police, then that government is insecure. Then that government is insecure. So you are only telling us you are insecure. Because if you are working and you know you are delivering to the people of Zambia, you can't start following trivial issues, even accusing other people of things that they have not done. But when a government is failing to deliver, the signs start coming out through by the way they behave, by the way they use the police, the way they use the courts, then you know this government is a failure. But I want to tell you, there is room for you people to improve. Improve on what we talk about, but don't start locking up your people. You, when you were locked up President Againde Ichilema, you cried foul. Even up to now, you arrested for 15 times. So you arresting others is dead. Arrest them. There you have arrested Shufia Tayari. He's still in detention. And yet when you hold your press conferences, you say, as when you arrest you, the next minute, you are given police bond. Yes, Chilufia Tayari, what he said was not correct. Even me, I've condemned it. Particularly, when he, he talked about Mpezeni, and when he said, all members who support the UPND are useful idiots. That is inappropriate. But if you think he was being tribal, charge him, take him to court. Don't make him rot in detention. And I know instructions have been given. Let him join Tayari. Go and lock him up. Please, charge me tomorrow. If you have an offense against me, take me to court. And let's meet in court. And let the courts decide whether I was being tribal or not. This idea of micromanaging government institutions by state arms must come to an end. Because I'm telling you, you win a Zarila. 
And let me say this. Zambians watch. Whatever you are doing as UPND, you can pretend by bringing uh, 40 ministers to try and explain. But if the people are complaining, no matter what you are going to do, the people of Zambia will speak in the ballot. My advice to you guys, get on to work. Deliver to the Zambian people. Deliver your promises. Then all of us will be happy. The people of Zambia will be happy. But this idea of, no, the IMF came, no, the IMF this, the IMF this. IMF are not voters. The Americans are not voters. And by the way, we get into government not to impress the Western world, to create an enabling environment where the Zambians can live happily, be able to manage to have three meals, be able to manage to take their children to school, look after their families, afford basic needs. Once the people are happy, you don't need to be explaining to them that we have done this. So, in UPND, guide the president correctly. And my dear president, avoid to threaten our citizens. We